NBA no-bore method using a quarter pint or half pint jelly jars with plastic no-mod lids for our containers. These are available at Walmart or online on Amazon. We're going to need 500 milliliters of water. This is agar powder, uh, available on Amazon as well, and light malt extract, again, Amazon or any brewing supply will carry it, and some food color. We're going to use a digital scale to measure our ingredients. For 500 milliliters of water, we're going to use 10 grams of the agar powder and 10 grams of the light malt extract. We're going to add the ingredients to the water cold and stir them in. Uh, if the water's hot, the ingredients can clump up. It's harder to dissolve them. Now we want to get this mixture boiling, but you want to stay close to it and watch the heat. Once it starts to boil, it'll foam up and leave the pot to give you a big sticky mess of clean. looking for the mixture to clarify a bit. Uh, that'll let you know that everything is fully dissolved. And now that we're boiling, we are going to turn the heat down just a bit. We want, a, we want a very gentle boil. Once everything's fully dissolved, we're turning the heat off and we're going to transfer our mixture back to the mixing cup. And we're going to add just a couple drops of food coloring. Uh, the gel colors are pretty strong, you don't need a whole lot. We're going to pour our cups about a quarter of an inch deep.
once we've got our cusp poured, we're going to go ahead and lid them. We're going to screw the lids on about as tight as they'll go. And once we've got all our jars lidded, we're going to add them to the pressure cooker. You want your water level to be pretty low on the jars. If the water level is too high on the jars, it'll find its way into the lids and your bottom layer of jars will end up soupy. The best thing to do is to get a second lid. I like to preheat the pressure cooker while, the, while preparing the jars. This kind of speeds up the process of it pressurizing. And once we do have all our jars loaded, We'll close it up, let it run for 30 minutes from the time the steam starts venting out the top. Then we'll turn off the heat, let it cool down slowly until it depressurizes and unlocks. And there we go. One of the advantages to this method uh, versus the traditional pouring of plates is your plates are sealed up and they stay sterile until you them. You don't have to worry about wrapping them with parafilm. And there you have it. Much love.